want to know about the law. Like recipes all for the special. The support group is phenomenal. We host about 350 families. Uh, the, the board members are all very experienced. Most of our board members have children with celiac disease. I'm glad everyone could come. Um, I I'd say one of the primary things that the support group offers that's so vital is ongoing updated information about this diet. Also there is the, the talk about going up four more pages with the newsletter. One of the greatest benefits of the support group is it gives us a very informative newsletter. Which is full of information uh, ranging from medical to dietary to social to political action. There was a fabulous article about the law for parents in Living Without. One of our board members came up with a great idea of having a gluten-free cooking class, but for kids. And it was a huge hit. The kids loved it. And so from there on, we started to do it on a more regular basis. I was really thinking about what would be most helpful in a practical way for these children to take control of their disease and their diet. Uh, as you know, gluten is the thing that kind of holds all baked goods together. So if you remove that, you have to replace it with usually either egg. It's fun to cook these And it's fun to learn how to cook gluten-free foods that I'm going to need to learn when I grow up. We've made things from the last cooking class, and it's so good. And it's really good. One of the greatest benefits of the support group has been for our daughter to be able to attend parties and picnics where it's all gluten-free food. These meetings provide a chance for the kids to sample products. Vendors set up and offered samples of all their gluten-free stuff, and it was just a great place to connect with other parents, but also kids were just ecstatic because they didn't have to ever worry about whether something was gluten-free. So the children can go off to the playroom and we'll have supervised activities, lots of gluten-free treats and goodies, and then we'll have another room where the parents can have a chance to ask their questions either of a doctor or a medical professional. A great way of welcoming people into our group and welcoming them into our community is by offering them a big welcome wagon basket that's filled with gluten-free treats and baking products and goodies. The kids were so psyched to get the gift basket. They were like, wow. And they, you know, they said, can we eat this? Can we eat this? And we could say, you have anything in the basket. I mean, that was just, a, just to hear that was exciting. They were so, so thrilled to get that basket. <laughs> you got a smile. I think it's good. The support group has been very helpful for us. It's given us the ability to connect with other families in our area who have children with celiac disease. That's been a very big component for our daughter. Families and children often learn best from people who have gone through exactly the same thing and parent-to-parent -parent communication is very important. The best part of that is that everybody has coped in a different way and when you share those coping methods, your life and your child's life become much easier. And that was like the best day of my life was finding the support group.